Welcome to the second part of the archery tutorial series. First of all, I would like to apologize about the delay the past two weeks. There was supposed to be two videos, but uh, I couldn't record uh, for various issues. We're going to continue from where we left off. Uh, but before that, I'm going to need you to fix uh, or fix something I have said in the past video. Uh, if we go to the aim offset that I told you to create, uh, I had a bunch of animation duplicated and changed. Don't use this pose because this is the pose with the katana thing it's not the one related to the bow so make sure you change that so for all the animations that I used here I'm gonna have to bulk edit those so as an action bulk edit and here we're gonna change pick the animation that is called edited edited is for me this is the part that is for me you're gonna use this one I'm gonna show you in a bit so make sure it's go samurai bow shoot aim pose forward and that's what you need once you have that finished I'm gonna try to go to the aim offset that I had which I didn't show you right which is right one this one here and here this one as well requires you to have the preview base pose so I'm gonna have to change that as well to edited forward again forget the edited part you just need the ghost samurai bow shoot aim offset forward once you have that finished we can move on to the next point so if we go back to where we left off we ended up just doing this right now you can just walk around and without any weapon equipped or anything like this so first we're gonna start with the equipping state and the equipping ability so for that we're gonna go to the katana weapon bow katana and we have this unarmed PDA. The unarmed PDA is going to have to change, so make sure you duplicate this. So instead of player unarmed, it's going to be player bow. Once you have the player bow, you're going to have to go to the states and you'll see an equip state already. For the abilities, you're going to have to add the ability. You can see right here from the equip state we have a hooked up ability with it which is called player equip ability. For that weapon we're gonna have to just type it down the name of the ability player equip and the animations we're gonna use. So to go to the animations part we're gonna have to pick a good uh, equip animation for the bow part. So we're gonna use the root one right click Okay, montage, make sure this is set to root motion, and in fact it is. Once you have this, we're gonna have to add an end current active ability. And once that's finished, make sure you hook it up here. So let me go to browse, and just add that right there. Now we can try and see if we do get the weapon. We don't. You can see that the state idle is remaining on state idle that means the equip didn't even run now to find out why it didn't run go to the equip state can perform at the breakpoint and then test again you can see this is run but the equip returned false now to know why it returned false you're gonna have to go to the equip ability itself which also has another check at the breakpoint here and then try again you see it returned false now we're going to check which ones return false. This is one. We have number two, three, four, the true. Only this one was false. So try to get the equip montages from the data asset, but it failed. Now, the reason it failed is if we go back here, you will see that you set up everything correctly, except that the animation wasn't, uh, wasn't picked up. Now to find out, to find, uh, find out why, we need to double make sure that we are using the correct uh, data asset. Now again, if we go to the equipability and go to this function, I'm just going to remove the breakpoint from here pretty quick. Open this and add the breakpoint somewhere around here. Now if you compile play, you'll see it stopped here and the abilities has nothing in them, even though we have something right here. But if you go back to the data asset, you can see that the one that is being used the player unarmed PDA and that's not the one we are using right here now to change that so I'm just gonna remove the breakpoint remember the weapon we created we just forgot to change 
the data asset associated with it. So with this, it should be working like it should. And absolutely, it's working like we expect it to. Now, we're going to handle the uh, aiming ability. Uh, so it's not an ability, it's a state, because aiming does not involve a specific type of animation montage to play. So we're going to handle the aiming state in the next video. Uh, and I'm going to release it right after this one, so this way I covered the past two weeks being missing. So with the equip being finished right now, uh, we're going to worry about the aiming. And after the aiming, we're going to worry about the shooting. So see you in the next one.